Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, my name is Trends Girl, Karibu Sana, and thank you so much for clicking this video. For the returning subscribers, Asante Sana. News just in is that DJ Fatso is planning to escape and leave the country today. DJ Fatso has been on the edge for allegedly being involved in Jeff Mwadi's death as the 23-year-old died in his apartment. However, the DJ claimed to be innocent and denied any involvement with the death of Jeff as he said that Jeff had committed suicide. However, reliable sources have revealed that the DJ is planning to leave the country today. But the question is, why would he be escaping if at all he's innocent, right? Well, Simon Mwangi, a blogger who has been following up closely on the case, took to his Facebook account and this is what he wrote. Jeff at a tupe holiday, Kenyans don't want this nonsense. It is an embarrassment to my president, William Samoy Ruto. I'm writing this because I am reliably informed that someone is planning to leave the country today. Akivuka boda msahau maneno ya Jeff na mimi pia ni kama nitahama. Well, Jeff Mwadi's death has brought an uproar in the country for the last few weeks as Kenyans are demanding justice for his death. This comes days after DJ Lawrence Njuguna, alias DJ Fatso, disclosed that he was not in his house at the time Jeff Mwadi allegedly jumped to his death. Fatso explained that he had left his house in Kasarani with three ladies and when he came back three hours later he found out that Mwadi was not around. This is what he explained later coming back after a few hours finding that Jeff was not in the house and others are there. I am actually the one who went with them to the police station to report that Jeff was missing. Well the Directorate of Criminal Investigations that is the DCI have also up updated Kenyans on the progress of the investigation into Jeff Mwadi's death. The DCA said that they have concluded the first phase of the investigations, which included interviewing the first cluster of witnesses in the case and examining the CCTV that was retrieved at the scene. They continued to say that they are now progressing to the second phase of the investigations, where several persons of interest in the case will be interrogated and appropriate recommendations made before being forwarded to the Director of Public Prosecutions for action. In the meantime, the public was requested to exercise patience as the DCA endeavors to establish the circumstances surrounding Jeff's untimely death. Well guys, what are your thoughts about this? Share what you think in the comment section down below. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. I've been your host, Trends Girl. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more hot trending topics. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.